how lack of proper identification of arrested persons slows down legal process. Welcome to Nantiva, I'm Oshi Banek, back with a new story. G.S. Bajpai, Ankit Kaushik writes, Pan-India guidelines for service of summons, warrants, grant of bails can help make the system quicker and more efficient. The judgment goes on to address the problem by evolving guidelines with respect to the process of services of summons or warrants, grant of warrants, grant of bail, and the process of proclamation as an offender. In the Impunk case, where one of us was appointed as Amicus Kure, the court identified two major issues. First, that process under sections 82 and 83 of the Code of Criminal Procedure was being issued routinely. In both the matters before the court, it was found the state was unable to furnish the complete address of the accused and notices weren't sent to the correct address. As per the NCRB's Crime in India 2019, for the 2.67 crore processes for summons, bailable warrants, non-bailable warrants and other processes received by the police throughout the year, nearly 28.5 lakh remained unserved. Often, the process of service of summons or warrants is frustrated due to the non-availability of the address of the accused. In practice, however, such verification exercises are conspicuous only in their absence. Moreover, the problem is not limited only to state of investigation. As per the figures submitted by Delhi Police to the court, there were approximately 18,541 proclaimed offenders in Delhi alone, of which nearly 6,000 had been accused of heinous offences. It has further been observed that figures of proclaimed offenders in Delhi had swelled from 13,500 in 2010 to more than 28,000 in 2021. Seen in this context, the issue leads to violation of the right to speedy trial that has been read into the right to life for Supreme Court in a plethora of cases. It therefore becomes imperative to ensure that such cases are not put on the back burner. To its merit, the insertion of the trial in absentia provisions can significantly deter the accused from abusing the processes of law as tactics to delay the trial. Other than these look main law, there are various practical difficulties in process pertaining to attachment of property under Section 83. The court, in its order, has attempted to address many of these concerns. The applicability of this judgment, however, is geographically limited to state of Delhi.